can the Fed learn anything from what the ECB is doing at this point? Well, the ECB, it seems kind of... Mario Draghi throughout has kind of been able to surprise the market when, when kind of they've least expected it. And also the ECB has tended to act more aggressively. And it's this recognition that when policy rates are at the lower bound, kind of the, the kind of bang for your buck of being more aggressive preemptively um, in kind of boosting policy um, and boosting stimulus is perhaps the way to go. And that's one of the things that Powell has talked about. Um, and clearly there's, there's some debate around whether the first Fed cut would be 25 basis points or, or 50 basis points. Um, and, and, and Powell has been speaking about, you know, the, the kind of the likelihood perhaps of a bigger move, um, just so that when rates are at the lower bound, you get a, you get a bigger stimulus uh, response. Mm. What do you see in terms of the dollar euro rate uh, this year? I mean, there's been some back and forth about the possibility of a currency war. We asked the question yesterday if the G20 would be the ideal place to kick off this currency war. But even if you don't buy that, clearly each side would prefer to have a weaker currency to boost exports, right? So where do you see that? Um, you know, we were at 111. All of a sudden, we were back at 114. Where do you see that rate at the year end? Yeah, I think that's perhaps one of the reasons why why Draghi came out with um, with the comments that he did in Sintra last week. You know, he's obviously watched you know inflation expectations in Europe trending lower, um, and, and and as we all know, there's there's relatively little ammunition um, in the toolbox. So by kind of signalling this this kind of distinct willingness to ease further, um, that that therefore puts downward pressure on the euro. And at a time when when the Fed is looking to cut rates. Um, and that would otherwise put, put upward pressure on the euro, it becomes even more important um, for, for the ECB to kind of ad ad adapt its stance as well and also become, um, you know, more, much more dovish. And that's exactly what we've seen. And so far, um, that's been effective for the exchange rate.